Thank you so much. I am Dr. Daya Shobo Ali. I'll be taking digital presence straight on. Let's start by saying what is digital presence. Digital presence includes the content that you control, like your website and social media profiles. That's what we mean by digital presence. Also, the content you do not control. You understand? Do you not have adding my staff? Okay. Just a minute. Let me get hello, just a minute. So I was trying to define uh, the, what digital presence is. And I told you that the content you control, digital presence, and also the content you don't control, such as online reviews. Please, you have to follow this class very diligently. This class is deep. Please, very, very deep. Very, very deep, very deep. Now, it refers to how business appears online. I will look at this. How we consider business. That's what digital presence is about. It's what people find when they search for your business company on the internet. If someone wants to know about your school, your farm, your industry, your company, your offices, they by when they check on that, what they see is what we refer to as digital presence. It is an it's the uh, it is any existence of an individual or business that can be found via on an online site. If you want to talk about digital presence, the way to get them is through online search. When you search something online, you will get that person online. That's digital presence. You understand? So apart from that, you see that it is any existence of an individual or business that can be found via an online search. That's what we look at. Uh, also, is uh, an individual is not active on the internet can have an online presence if he's a member of an association. Uh, well, like we found out from most academics, those who are working in one university, uh, polytechnic or the other, or if you are working with a company that is known, uh, you see that even if you don't have a digital presence yourself, if you don't have digital activity, which is digital footprint, you discover that you will still have some digital presence based on that um, particular, based on that particular, what's the name? Of that particular institution for which you are working and that is what we mean by digital presence now by the time you look at this you see that uh, the web presence is critical for all industries and individuals lack of a blog website or online presence can lead potential clients or patients to find similar uh, uh, business elsewhere now let me explain this to you if you don't have a digital presence you will lose a lot of customers if you are selling something. Look at my uncle self now. Um, I am I'm into digitalization. If I don't have a digital presence, if you go online and you don't have any record of me, you will discover that you will go elsewhere to someone who has um, a digital presence. And that is something that is key. If you have a school and you don't have a digital presence, the people there will go to another person and they will leave your old school because they'll be like, oh, yeah, that's the person we can get, and that's the person we can hear from. And that is part of what we mean when we talk of digital presence. And that thing you need to understand about digital presence is the fact that it will give your name, it will give, it will let us know how your name works. Do you understand? In the digital world. And that's why you have to be very careful when we talk about digital presence. You understand, we have to be careful. We have to follow it adequately and understand the concept. So in, uh, in understand digital presence, let me show you some of this diagram for you to get what digital presence means. If you look at this, digital presence is saying, when we check you online, what are we going to get? When we check you online, what are we going to get? You understand? Uh -huh. You understand, because if you check you online, and we get nothing. If we check you online and we get nothing, it's unfair. Do you understand? So digital presence matters a lot. Uh, and that's why you see that a lot of people, they don't matter. Even though physically we know them, we expect them, we, yet they don't make any much impact because they lack digital presence. You understand? So we have to make effort. Uh, we have to make effort and give the necessary attention 
uh, that is needed you know, for digital uh, uh, for digital presence. So apart from that, you discover also that you when you talk about digital presence, it shows uh, that you have a presence online. Look at this young boy. If you look at this young boy, you discover that this young boy is uh, this young boy is studying deep. He's getting deep into the system. Now, digital presence. So can you see this laptop? Digital presence is saying that you, but all your documentation is a form of digitalization anyway. All your documentation are represented in that regard. Now, when we talk about digital presence, what else are we looking at? Let's quickly look at the futures of digital presence. Oh, it means be here now. Now, by the time I say be here now, I think I need to begin to explain some things to you at this point. When we say be here now, what that simply means is that, oh, you are, you, you, you are there where any time you are needed. You know, at times, some people don't understand the importance of when they are needed, they are gotten. They don't understand the importance. By the time we need you, they say, go, ahead, go and bring your, uh, someone needs your CV, and you are now running to your car. You want to go and bring your CV. No, that's not it. Your CV by now should be in the cloud. That's digital presence. Some people invited me for a program of recent, and they were asking me for my pictures. I told them, go online, just go and go Google my name, you get my pictures there. If they said, what of my profile? I said, go to my blog, you get my profile there. You are not getting the concept, be here now. When we talk about digital presence, you are there. You, you, when they call you, you are answering, you are there. You understand? It's giving you a representation, it's giving you a name. It's something that, oh, you are there anytime you are needed. You see that you are added to it. That's digital presence. Digital presence, anytime they call you, you are answering because you are online, you are relevant, and you are doing fine. And that is digital presence. It doesn't have any form of replacement. No, 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 no. It's something that you just have to follow and follow adequately. Creating powerful presence. That's another thing. One of the best feelings in the world is knowing that your parents and upset both mean something to someone. You see, if you are good and you have been writing, let me uh, let me pick, for example, if you are blogging and your blog goes down, those people have been reading your blog and get information from your blog, they will come to you asking you, what happened? Then you see that because you have created digital presence, you mean something to someone. If you are absent, it's going to be an issue for those people. Another issue about digital presence is you will know yourself, you will grow yourself. I believe someone is in the house. Know thyself, grow thyself. What does that mean? In digital presence, you must identify who you are. Your area of specialty, your area of strength, your area of peculiarity. You must understand it. After you have understood your digital presence, the next thing is you will have to grow yourself. You have to develop yourself. You understand? So those are the things that you need to understand and you have to follow. When we talk about digital presence, digital presence is saying that you have to grow yourself, you have to develop yourself, you have to work on your personality. And then uh, if, if you have developed yourself, then when you say grow yourself, take for example, I always tell people this, after I've completed my PhD in computer engineering, I went back to study law in the university. You understand? That's growing myself physically. And by the time I completed that, went to law school, and I, I, I'm back from law school, then you discover that if I don't report it online, if I don't, nobody will know what my status is. You grow yourself, very important. Thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, I wish everybody can, can write that down. You grow yourself, but you have to know yourself. Then you grow, you develop yourself. When you want to have digital presence that will last, when I check some of you online, I discovered that there that was a part, there is a particular person there. The last time you were active online was 2012. I just want to bring you up at all because you, 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 your digital presence, you are not growing yourself. You are not developing yourself. Some of you, 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 though you have, you have improved physically, but it's not reported digitally. In your digital presence, it's most speak on your Facebook. You see, your Facebook, what we are concerned with, it's not your family. Some people will go to their Facebook, they will put their family pictures there. Nobody needs that on your Facebook. What we are concerned with is your value as it is increasing. That is growing yourself in the digital world. You understand? So digital presence. And that's one thing you have to understand and you have to follow. Can you get it now? now if, you, um, if you can get it, um, you, you discover you, you discover that 
you, 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 you'll be able to follow the trend as you should. You'll be able to follow the, the trend. Yes, very key to grow yourself. You have to develop yourself. That's, that's in the digital presence. It's not the same level. You don't remain at the same level. Now, in growing yourself, it's not when you change clothes. No. By the time you are improving, I told you, after becoming a lawyer, what's the next thing? I have to go online and write it there. Now, this class you are going through, do you know it's an addition? You know you are growing yourself now you have digital knowledge now you have for those of course uh, for those of you who have paid for uh, the training and the certificate after the class you have your certificate that is that should be displayed in the digital world that is what we want when we talk about digital presence so you you can you can help yourself in growing yourself in developing yourself you know yourself but you don't stop there you grow yourself you develop yourself and as you develop yourself you will report your growth can, can, can you get that? You will report your growth. <laughs> Today we are going to do some writings together. I, 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 I believe that you are not getting the basics of it. You know yourself, you grow thyself. This is important. You don't remain stagnant in the digital world. And when we talk about stagnancy, as you are, when we talk about growth, everything you do that adds value to you to be reported. Now, can you write that? Can you help me write that? Grow yourself and report your growth. I want to see. Can, can you help me write it? Grow yourself and report your growth. Grow yourself and report your growth. There are some important words we are going to be typing today. And I want to see. Yes, let me. I'm waiting. Thank you. Very key to grow thyself. It's not only that. Grow yourself and report your growth. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm reading, very key to, very key, that's what I read last. I'm expecting you to write more, okay, good. Grow yourself, uh, thank you so much, uh, Sister Funke. Grow yourself, yes, all I do, to do, grow yourself and report your growth. That is important. Grow, develop, and report your growth. I love this, I love this. Uh, le let me read more from others. That shows you are in class. So what do I have there? Yes. Oh, thank you. Adeto Eche. Grow yourself and report your growth. You see, that growth of yours, if you keep it to yourself. Prof, oh, you are welcome, Professor Balaji. You are welcome, sir. Grow yourself and report your growth. You see, when you are growing, Prof, let me give you an example. Let me take you as an example now. As Prof is now, when you became a professor, you understand, if you left doctor on your platform, if that is what we have, nobody will call you a professor internationally. It's only the people that knows you. You will report your growth. Bro, do you know now that you are a digital professor? You are no more an ordinary professor because you have gone through this training. You, you are now a digital professor. Go and report your growth. That's what we are talking about. You understand? You know yourself, then you report your growth. So I'm not going to keep quiet about it. You are not going to just say, oh, um, God knows. No, you have to report it. God knows, yes, other people should also know. You understand? Grow yourself, but also I'm grateful and report your growth. So as you are going through this training, for some people, I, 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 I gave you a voice note in, in the midnight, and I encourage you, come and join blogging class. Some of you have joined blogging class, and you know that it's a, it's a different thing. When you become a blogger, you can make money from it, you can use it to that means relate yourself. And from those who are in the class, you, you can discover we have a woman of 69 years old, a professor too. You understand? Know He's in the blogging class. And that is what we are talking about. You see that it will help you. You will be able to move. You will report your growth. And that prof is saying that, ah, he doesn't know that this is, this is another aspect that she's going, she must have a blog. And that is what we are talking about. Because you will, when you meet with people, you will report your growth. Bro, you cannot take this for granted. You are a digital pro. 
we must report your growth. On your page, it must be reported. It's not, it's different from where uh, activism, no. We are, when we talk about reporting your growth, as you are developing in the digital world, opinions in the digital world, you see that it has to be reported, and that is when your value will begin to, will begin to increase. Now, apart from that, you grow yourself, you, you, you know yourself, you grow yourself, then you report your growth. Thank you so much. Again, self-awareness, that inner wisdom. Oh, of course, I've spoken about that. Then you have call to action. Let's move on. Importance of digital presence. What are the importance? Why is it important? It helps you to get more opportunities as you are easy to be found. That's the truth. You, you get more opportunities. People will tell you, I've, I have gotten some opportunities that way. You understand? A lot of people have gotten opportunities. People will call you, okay, look at the class we are, we are now. We have different people in this class. We have school owners, we have professors, we have lawyers, we have different people. You understand? And that's how it goes. And you see that when you are in a class like this, you that, that's digitalization. The reason why you can meet with all these people in this class is because of digitalization. Now, by the time you now start doing something in the digital world and your presence begins to increase, you see that people will begin to call you. Now, if you are not there, who will invite you? That's the importance of digital presence. That's why you must always be there. That's why you must always be reckoned with. Digital presence, you need it. Websites and social media platforms are excellent marketing tools. Now, did you, did you read what I just uh, read? Did you, can you understand what I just uh, posted here? It says websites and social media are marketing tools, excellent marketing tools. They are not gossiping tools. Are you with me? They are not playing tools. They are marketing tools. What do you have to market? If you have nothing to market, please don't go on WhatsApp again. If you have nothing to sell, if you have no adequate information to pass, stop forwarding and reading and forwarding and stop it. Stop bringing your privacy into the public all because you don't understand how it goes. A lot of people are landing into problems. In, uh, in somewhere in Cameroon, you know, in Ghana, two weeks ago, a nurse was speaking in a, in a, in, in a uniform. The Nurses Association saw it you know, on social media. They invited that and suspended her. Are you getting the concept now? They invited and suspended her. The reason is because you are, it's a marketing tool. When you go online, you go online with purpose. Don't go online to joke. You don't go online to play. You don't go online. Mm, that's why you're going online. We are going online for a purpose. We are going online to work. We are going online to sell yourself. It's not, it's not a place where you will go and you will just start to do things anyhow. You don't go online to start displaying your own family, as some people will do ignorantly. It's not a place you go to do that. You don't go online to show your nakedness. No, 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 no. It's very wrong. I always want people, any picture you will need to explain to your husband 10 years after posting, it's better you don't try it. Even those single ladies, even single guys, you have to be very careful. Anything you will now start to explain to your children in another, by the time you are 80, what you need to start explaining to your children, you need to start telling your children, this is what happened, this is what didn't happen. No, you don't go into it. You understand? You must understand this part. You must understand it, that it is a marketing tool. It's not a display tool. It's not a gossiping tool. It's not an insulting tool. These are things you have to understand and follow adequately. Cost effective methods of sending out information to thousands of people, of course. You know, I only made a poster before you came here. I only made, you only saw a single poster. Is that single one we kept on sharing? Thousands of people. If it has been in the physical world, you know how many posters we'll have given out? Once you collect one, it's gone, we'll give it, and we'll be giving out uh, different posters, different people. But now it's just a single poster. And that is why you have learned graphics. Now, when someone is celebrating birthday, yesterday was my birthday. You, you saw what my students designed for me. Wow. For some of you, I saw what you did. You understand? It's so exciting. So, so, so much exciting. And that's what we are talking about. By the time you look at the digital world, someone is celebrating birthday, you, you have gone beyond the level of just typing happy birthday. No, you will design something. You put the pictures of the person there, you put some flowers there. 
you write up congratulations on your day. You write some words, courtesy. You put your name, and that's how it goes. And that is how it goes. And you begin to grow in that regard. So it's cost effective. Digital presence has a huge influence on the way consumers make purchasing decisions. If, like for example, if you are looking for a speaker and you go online to type my name, when you see well, uh, uh, all my pictures, you saw the way I am dressed, you saw the way I'm, I mean, angling issues, you say, I ah, know this one is a speaker. When you go on YouTube and you check all my, my videos and you listen to me, you say, no, this one is a speaker. So it will affect people in taking decisions. If you have a school and you don't have a digital presence, you have a farm, you don't have a digital presence. Imagine someone who has a farm and he has digital presence, your product will not only be sold to the people within your locality, it will be sold in, that is when you can go into exportation. You can't export as a local soul. Locality and exportation cannot be the same sentence. Once you want to export, you are becoming international. You are going global. And that's what we are looking at. To be a global professor, a global lecturer, a global teacher, a global lawyer, you have to become a digital one. If you are a local <laughs> lawyer, a local professor, you can't be a, 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 a if you are an amateur, a, a local one, you can be global. And that is why we need to move from one level to the other. That doesn't stop there. By the time you are talking of digital presence, what does it entail? One of the important things about digital presence is this idea of digital branding. What do we mean by digital branding? How you look. When you look at branding, you see that the identity. Now, I want you to be very careful with this. Identity. How do you look? By the time people see your picture on Facebook, how do you look? When they see your pictures on Instagram, you are a lawyer. But on, when they check you on Facebook, you, there is nothing law, lawyering about your dressing. By the time they check you on Instagram, there is nothing lawyering about your dressing. Those are the things that you need to be careful of. Are you getting the concept now? Those are the things you need to be careful of. And that is why you have to understand the principle of digital branding. Digital branding is the way you look. If you look at me now, you can see my hair. It's part of digital branding. I grew my look. Your, your facial look, your dressing, it should speak for you. If you are, you are not a musician, you are not into entertainment industry, by the time they show your picture on online, it's either you have a torn jeans or an incomplete wear, but you are not a comedian. You, 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 you know what I'm talking about. So some people don't understand. They just bring some pictures and they show some things and they just put it on Facebook. You know the mistake you are making. You always think that social media is meant for the people that are around you, that you know. No, social media is meant for those who don't know you. I have seen some people, they will write, oh, during my struggling days, and maybe now, these are struggling days. Maybe they have done one dirty job and things are not too easy for them. I've seen serious series of pictures like that online. They will now snap themselves and they call it struggling days. Now you see someone wants to come from France and the person wants to give you a job. And the person now sees that you are a struggler. That person will give you the job a day. You don't understand. Don't destroy yourself before you build yourself. Don't destroy yourself with what you should be building yourself. You see, you should use social media to build yourself. Don't use it to destroy yourself. When you show you are struggling, nobody will take you serious. You have already told us you are a struggler. The people you are communicating with, or that you think you are communicating with, that will make comments on your pictures, they are usually the ones that know you. But that the social media is not meant for those people. It's the marketing tool. It is meant for those who don't know you at all. So your identity, you should be careful. The pictures you post online, your identity should reflect your identity. You don't just post any picture. The online is not the place to make just any comment. You are going to be seeing that when we get to the next topic of digital footprint. Your credibility, oh, you have to be credible. You just have to be credible. Then your feasibility, how they see you now. In the issue of, let me let me tell you something. You cannot be that your show Ali on Google on uh, on Gmail. You now go to Twitter. You are already there, but not here. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh, uh, if go through. If the person that said that, please attend to that picture. You should go through. Um, uh, go through audio. Click and dial in through audio. Why? Someone said it's not hearing. Uh, just a minute. Dial in uh, through audio. I don't know who that. Uh, dial in through audio. You Andrew, that. Thank you so much. So are you getting the concept now? So you, your look, it matters a lot. Your look matters a lot. When you are that your show on Gmail, don't go to Twitter 
at the time ala adeniro to bo wa le no 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 you must be consistent you must be consistent visibility you must be consistent your picture should be there your picture should show you some of you will think by hiding your picture look stop deceiving yourself your picture should be involved are you getting it out those are part of the things you need to learn and what is the other thing about digital presence you create a good digital presence how, how do you want to create a digital presence that is positive this is the way number one you share your passion now let me ask you a question that i normally ask every cell Am I passionate about this part? Do you think I'm passionate? The way I'm, I'm teaching you, do you think this is my passion? I want to hear you. I want to hear answers from you. Do you think this is my passion? I'm only asking you. Let me let me hear, let me hear you because you have to share your passion. So I want to understand if you even understand what that word means, passion. Do you think any in, 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 the way I discuss, the way I teach, is, is this my passion? Is this my interest? Am I just teaching for money? Am I teaching because I want to collect money from you? Or do you see passion in what you are doing? And that is exactly the question you need to answer. Not only about me, you understand, but also for yourself. Which area is your passion area? Until you get it, you must understand that. You must get that, absorb it. Your passion area, you share your passion, your interest, what people will get to know you on. And that's what we are talking about passion. I've not received any answer from anybody because I want to be sure you are in class. Yeah, good. I'm reading from some people now. I have to be sure you are in class. You understand? So what oh come on, the way you speak, it shows you are passionate. So thank you so much. I love that. Oh, yes, you are passionate. Thank you so much, DJ Sir. You are very much grateful. Um so um now by the time you look at that, you see that is the same way you have to find out about your own area of passion. You must be passionate. There is something you are passionate about. The fact is for you to last in the digital world, then you have to do what? You have to pick your area of passion. Because if you pick an area which is not your area of passion, you will not last therein. Now, the other thing is that you have to find your niche. When you have your passion, what you, what you are passionate about, then you find your area of specialty. That's, that's the only thing that will make your online presence unique. Your area of peace, your, your area of gifting, your, the, the, the area where you are a blessing for the world. And that's one thing I've been shouting in every class that I teach on because I discovered that a lot of people, they don't understand that what they need most is their niche and nothing more. Your area of niche. Can you build a website? Of course, you, are, you need a blog. You need a professional brand. And to have that professional brand, one of the things you need is your blog and your website. The two cannot be compromised. You need to understand these two and you need to follow them adequately. What's the next thing we have to look at when we talk about digital presence? When we talk about digital presence, how do we create one? Build an email list. Master SEO, create value. What concerns you here is create value. You must have value. You see, when you have passion and you have your niche, then you create value. Value, those are the things you are adding. Look, if you look at this class, the reason why you are in this class is because you are learning something. Even though you pay, then you, you, you get to a level, you say, oh, look, I've wasted two five, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but I don't know why people are like that. If that man knows he doesn't know him, why is he now saying he wants to teach people? And that is what will happen when you don't know what you are doing. So one thing I would always advise and encourage people to do is to ensure that they do what? They create value, add value to people. Then you have to be active online. For example, I have a blog. You are supposed to have read the blog and make a comment that's active. Apart from my own, when you go online, you read some things, look for places where you make contributions. Active online is not on WhatsApp. It's not recommended. Active online is not talking about posting on Facebook. It's not recommended. Because some people don't understand. When they add some pictures, there is no picture you go and hide on Facebook. You have different pictures and you think that's what people will follow. It is not usually rated. And that's why you see that for LinkedIn, LinkedIn is used by professionals. And I always advise everybody to be on LinkedIn. Those who are in academics, if you are on research gate, you will see that you will always be rated high because of that research gate. But that is not your area of niche. It's only your area of publication. How do you create a digital presence? Another issue is you set your goals. Please, I need to explain something here. When I talk about goal setting, Goal setting means you must have something that you really want to achieve in the digital world. 
If you don't have a purpose, let me tell you one thing. What there are two things you can achieve. It's either as a content carrier, you want relevance. You begin to write in your area, and that's usually for the elderly people. From the class we have had before, you remember that we spoke about digital um, natives, digital immigrants, and digital aliens. And digital immigrants are those people that migrated into the digital world, and they, they are doing fine. You understand? They, they are using it for one thing or the other. Those are the digital immigrants. So you set your goals. What do I like? My own goal now. What's my goal? Very easy and very simple. I want to be, when you mention, I want to be the father of digitalization in Nigeria. Are you getting that? When you mention digitalization, I want my name to come up first. And how do I do it? I have to write more digitalization through my blog. I have to write more digitalization through my blog. I'm not doing enough. I have to write more. When it comes to mentality and reality, I want to be the father of mentality and reality. That's why you discover that in every class I take, I will always tell you your mentality and your reality. And I have some quotes which are peculiar, which are peculiar to me. Like I will tell you, if mentality contradicts reality, calamity is inevitable. And what does that mean? If your mentality, if you say this what the reality is, then there is nothing. Nobody can stop calamity because mentality will always bow to reality. These are my goals. Do you understand? Now, you know, I did not set goals of money making, you know, but I've set goals of relevance. One thing about the digital world is that once you now become relevant, the money will now begin to come. Then the other side you can do is, and which I'm also involved with, is the issue of selling to people. How do I mean? You know, I'm a, I, I, I'm a blogger. I design blogs. If you want to design blog now, and I'll tell you, let's say, for example, if I say prop, your blog, bolajiadeniji.com. If I say www.bolajiadeniji.com, it's your blog. Give me money, let me design it for you. If it is 5,000 naira, I will get. You understand? So there is going to be profit. So for the younger generation, when you learn how to design blogs, you discover that you begin to gain money in that regard. You begin to get money. You begin to make some amount of money coming in. So you must set your goals and know what do I want to do. Then if you are into entertainment and people are they are following your blog, you have a lot of subscribers, you discover that as the people increase, Google will begin to pay you. That's what we call Google AdSense. So you must know the purpose and the reason for which you are uh, in, in the digital world. Then apart from that, be consistent and create value. You see, that value, nobody can stop it. But you are, apart from creating value, which I've explained, you must equally be consistent. What do you mean by consistency? In the posting of your blog, if you are going to be posting weekly, be consistent. If you want to be posting uh, fortnightly, be consistent. I plead with you, try your best and be consistent because consistency is key. Then you focus on the tool. What exactly is the tool you are using? I believe you are listening to me in this class. If you are listening at times, I, uh, is it rapt attention that is not making you contribute? But well, from the videos I'm seeing, I can see people are listening. So let me move on. So I have a social media presence and uh, comment on forums, be active online. I've said that when you see someone who has a blog, maybe uh, I will see picture of a digital friendship, you have a digital presence, you comment online. These things will help you. But the type of comment you have to be careful because we'll be checking that very shortly. And let's move on to platform for digital presence. Platform for digital presence. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, when you talk about the platform for digital presence, you see that uh, the, 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 which platforms can you use? Number one, of course, you use your Twitter. Uh, Twitter and do, you should all have Twitter and everybody. If you don't have a Twitter handle, you are not doing well. You should have LinkedIn. You need Twitter handle, your name at, you understand, whatsoever. And so you know something about Twitter handle? Google rates it so much. That's why you see that some of us, my first picture in Google, they got it from my Twitter handle. Your Twitter handle matters, and you tweet. Try your best to tweet, maybe on a daily basis, or to, like the issue of uh, rape that is ongoing now. You tweet to condemn it. That uh, I rape, rapists are animals, not to rape. It's all right. You understand? You have tweeted something and you are building your digital presence and your digital, uh, uh, your, your digital knowledge and your digital value. Another thing is, of course, on your Facebook, your email and video channels. All these things will help you. But, okay, 
Okay, I will, I will, I will tell you the reason. Uh, the, the reason why WhatsApp is not captured, I love that question, is because, you see, most of the things you type on WhatsApp, they don't really stay with you. They don't stay with you. They don't stay with you. That's why a lot of people are in a lot of groups. They have written a lot of things. You understand? They don't stay with you. You see, WhatsApp is just an application on your phone. You can't, you, do you understand me? It's an application on your phone. It has to go with a phone number as it were. You, it's different from all this Twitter. Twitter has nothing to do with your phone. LinkedIn, they are bodies. These ones are bodies. LinkedIn, if you're a professional, you, do you know that you don't go on LinkedIn? They hardly wish anybody happy birthday on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not involved in those ones. Twitter is how to handle daily records. Instagram, Instagram is even there. Instagram is for uh, videos and uh, selling of your property. Uh, Insta, selling of your, uh, yes, your products rather, and services. You understand? But when you talk about WhatsApp, WhatsApp is, sorry, why is WhatsApp not captured? Clear enough, great, you understand? So that's it. So WhatsApp is just like that. That's why I tell people, when you're on WhatsApp and you are wasting your time, you are just creating problem for yourself. Because WhatsApp creates more problem than solution. That's one thing you need to understand. And I will explain that to you when we get to digital footprint. You understand? So by the time you are talking of digital presence, what you have typed on WhatsApp, nobody will use that to rate you. No, never. But rather, they are going to use other things to do what? To rate you. And that's what is key. Now, block sites, you just don't have a choice. Once you, it's either you have a block site for your person or you have a website for your business. One of them, you just have to get one. You don't have a choice. The reason is because this is the way. Since you are in this class, that means you are trying to mean digital. And that's why I always tell people, if you stop at fundamental class, you are not doing well. You should go ahead and join the block site class. And digital activity, the frequency will, show, will be shown, uh, frequency shown by your images in Google. Then you avoid digital redundancy. Everybody type it, let me see. Avoid digital redundancy. Please be quick, be quick, be quick. Type it, let me see. Avoid digital redundancy. Avoid digital redundancy. Avoid digital redundancy. Type that, let me see that. Now, you see that when you avoid digital redundancy, that is when you are moving forward. Because there's every tendency that you are doing nothing in the digital world. There's every tendency that you are just there, you are not making contribution. And that is why we always advise, oh, good, good. And hey, this class is doing well now. Avoid digital redundancy. Yes, because there are some things, oh, by all means, thank you so much. Digital redundancy, anything that you do that is not recorded is still digital redundancy. Quickly, before we round up, uh, let us check, um, let's quickly go into the practical for the first aspect. And the practical is checking who are we. Let me be, uh, let me be sure. Do I have uh, uh, my um, auntie, Pastor Mrs. in the house? Or if I know, are you in the house? Wow. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. That's not helping me here. Okay. Now, I have gone online to check some people's present. Uh, firstly, I checked. Uh, okay, she's not in the house. Yes. Now, I checked their presence. I wanted to see what it's giving me. I wanted to see what it's giving me. Yeah, so I will come back and uh, I'll, I'll come back. Now, if you see, well, I checked her online. By the time I checked her, oh, I wish, I, 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 I wish she can be here. I wish she can be here. There's someone, uh, sister, uh, what's your name? Uh, please help me get her to be here, please. So uh, now, by the time you see, Toyi Fanu Oshu Ife. Now, this is someone that has, I, I, I went to check, Phoebe Star Royalty Schools. Now, you see, she's the uh, proprietress of this school. This is one of the biggest schools in Osho State. Now, Phoebe Star Royalty Schools to hold top prize giving day. Now, I want you to see what you mean by digital presence. When I typed her name, this is the result I was getting. I needed you to understand this because I'm going to be explaining more things to you very shortly. So, when you talk about that, now, uh, then I went ahead and I'll check the pictures. When I check the pictures, this picture is the picture of the school, Phobista. This is one of their uh, uh, students, you understand? And this is when the school is celebrating birthday. But some of these other pictures here have little 
or nothing to do with them again. You know the reason. The reason is not far fetched. It's just because they have they have not been active enough online. These are people that have experiences online. That is why I wanted them to really see this. Oh, my wife is not in the house as well. My wife family is not in the house. Come, so I, when they come, I'll see. Now he said, um, Mr. My journalist, Mr. Larry Fagbola, are you in the house? Is Mr. Larry Fagbola in the house? Mr. Larry, please quickly respond if you are in the house. Okay. If Mr. Larry Fagbola is not in the house, at times I, I well, if he's, but I checked him up. I checked him up. I didn't check everybody. So I didn't report everybody rather. I checked him up, and you see that uh, you see that this one is one of the reports about him. But by the time I went into graphics, he's a journalist. He's a writer of books. He's an elderly man. He's very close to. He's in his late sixties. You understand? He's he's a member of this class. Do you understand? Now, when you look at this place, this is the man I'm talking of. He's the second one here. But you see that. Most of the other issues are not about him, but that's his name. Can you imagine? That means that he has a low digital presence. He has a low, I wanted you to see. And I also went to check my auntie in the house. That's Auntie Grace Adeboye Joshua. Now you see, uh, uh, you really even tried because when you go by the name of a popular person, most of the time you don't have a place in the digital world. You understand? So you understand that you don't have a place in the digital world. Now, you can you see? But she did something there which I love. And that's Introduction to Psychology. Day-to-day, -day, page three, Google Books results. Now, uh, Auntie Grace, I wish you can quickly answer this through typing. This is your own, you did this work. Introduction to Psychology, please, true or false. Can you just quickly tell me yes or no before I continue my analysis? You did this work, man. I guess, okay, don't let me guess. You, you are in the house. So, just quickly tell us yes or no before I move on. You understand? So while we are waiting, you see that because two things, and that's why when it comes to picking your name, you have to be careful. If your name has, goes to with people like Adeboye, people like Obasanjo, you understand? Some popular names like that, you discover that you have to rebrand yourself so that you can really make an impact. And you have to do a lot of blocking. Oh, you have to do a lot. Because those people that you see their pictures, it's not as if they are the ones that reported it. Because of their popularity, it attracts the social media and they will begin to report them. The social media is the one reporting them because of their activities. It's not uh, because of their activities in the physical world. It's not as if those people are consciously doing anything in the physical world. Now, if you look at it, when I checked your, uh, Andy Grace, I'm not seeing your reply. By the time, to, by the time I checked our pictures, I discovered that I am not getting what I wanted. You understand? And that is where I brought I, I brought this out. Now, by the time you look at, Prof, I have checked your work at a time. I quickly need to check it again, but time is not too much of my friend. Now, if I go to google.com, let me share for others to see. Uh, yes. Now look at it. When you say professor, uh, okay, for prof, you see, I've checked your name before. Professor Bolaji Adeniji. Now, prof, look at your own uh, report here. He's bringing out your name because of your connection. I think I told you in class that day. He's bringing out your name because of your connection with Federal University of Technology, as reported on LinkedIn. As reported on LinkedIn, and that's the issue. The second one here is that you have uh, Balaji Adeniji, you are in the Federal University of Technology, MINA. And of course, your publication. Do, are you getting the concept now? And that is in research gates. That's in research gate. It's not because of some of the things you have written outside those places. But every academic in research gate will have this. Do you understand? Now look at this editorial team because Federal University of Yekiti. 
you see that everything now, uh, Nigeria Forum for Agricultural Advisory. So everything about you, all your digital presence has to do with your link with one place or the other. Now the digital presence, and that's why we'll be talking about digital footprint very shortly. Now by the time, let's, let, let's go back to what we, let's go back to what we have. Now, if you look at this, now what, how do you do it? Now I showed myself here in digital presence, Dr. Dayo Shobuali, by the time I showed myself, you see that all those pictures, I have captured everything. This is digital presence. Do you understand now? So the reason why this digital presence is this high is because of my blocking power. My blogging power. These are different pictures I use in different blogs, which I've developed, of which I've written. You understand? And that is what you can see. That same picture, person, that same person. What I did in 2018, where I start, this picture here is when I congratulated this person on her birthday. Do you understand? So those are the things. Uh, on a particular blog, I wrote uh, a very congratulatory message to her, and that's what you have there, and that is how things grow. Now, digital presence, the benefits of LinkedIn, if you have LinkedIn, I've told you, it will bring you up. LinkedIn will connect you so strongly in the professional world. Apart from that, what are the features of digital branding? Now, the company you work for, Rob, this is what I told you just now, sir. The company, Foyer, Mino, or uh, Agric uh, uh, Forum, all those places have lifted you. Your professional bodies, your professional body, that's why I advise, if you are an engineer, you are a lawyer, you are, spare your deals, because those things will give you digital presence. So now, how do you improve your digital presence? Another issue, of course, is your blog site, for uh, content delivery, and some social media platform. Now, another, to improve your digital presence, one thing you need to do is do some email marketing and guest posts. But this one is above this class, it's more, applicable in the blogging uh, class. That will help your digital uh, presence. Now, one of the things you need to understand about digital presence, and uh, let me show you this about LinkedIn. If you look at this LinkedIn, this is my, it says that, so, some people visited my LinkedIn site. This one say, one works at Chevron Oil, Nigeria Limited. Now, what does that mean? The person that saw my LinkedIn site went to check. Now, someone who is working in Chevron cannot come and check your WhatsApp page. He's not going to have access to it. This person checked it without my knowledge. Do you understand? You cannot be told that someone who is working in Chevron has checked your WhatsApp page. What's his business with your WhatsApp page? He does not have any link with it. So those are the things you have to look at. And of course, when you are using your picture, can you see this picture? Of course, this picture tells you this person is a speaker. So these are the issues you have to follow. And when you follow them, your digital presence with digital value and digital frequency, when combined, will give you digital footprint. And that is taking me to the next class today, which is digital footprint. Now, I'm going to be talking to you very briefly about digital footprint before we call it a class. Now, digital footprint, but before then, let me ask you a question. Your digital presence now, you discover that when we type your name, we have to get it. Isn't it? Digital footprint is not like that. Digital footprint is something that is not talking about typing your name or not typing your name. No, no, no. Digital footprint is, 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 is talking more about other things. Do you understand? And you have to get it very, very clearly. Now, in getting digital footprint, you have to first understand what are the facts about digitalization. Well, one of the facts about digitalization is all this that I have listed. Number one, you must have a niche. I've explained that before, so I won't go back to it. But apart from that, what is key here is two things, patience and integrity. I've explained originality. And when we talk about patience, you don't need to rush in the digital world. Everything you want to achieve will take time. Then in integrity, please don't lie so that you can last. If you want to last in the digital world, then you must not lie in the digital world. Those two are very key and germane. Then apart from that, what are the materials you need for digitalization? Number one, you need, uh, there are some hardware materials and there are some things you need which are software applications. One of the hardware materials is your Android phone. You see, you need an Android phone. 
as at this level now, your phone is more important than you ever thought before. Android phones is uh, better than iPhone. The reason is that iPhone is limited because of the application. Some of the applications developed are developed basically for Android phone. Then the elderly ones, Prof, uh, Antiface, and some of you, please go and buy your tablet. Tablet is good for the elderly ones because it's larger. You see this elderly man is using his tablet, so buy your tablet. Then laptop is compulsory for the children. Yes, with time because laptop now is not something. It's no more. It, it, it's no more the issue of right. Laptop is now a necessity for everyone. Oh, uh, Pastor Mrs. You are back. I have gone to check. Okay, I will show you some things later as we move on. So now, then we have software applications, block programming. This one, of course, is for those who are in the software world. Now, what are the things that are really required for digitalization? The first thing you require in digital skills is your thinking capacity. Now, please, can you help me type that in? Your thinking capacity. Help me type that in. Your thinking capacity. Thinking capacity, if it is not wide enough, nobody is going to read you, nobody is going to listen to you. Your thinking capacity is compulsory, is necessary. Your thinking capacity. Now, yes, thinking capacity. Someone has helped me. Thank you so much. Thinking capacity. Thank you so much. Your thinking capacity is very key. It's compulsory you have it. It's compulsory you grow it. It's compulsory that you, you develop it. And apart from thinking capacity, you have to understand in thinking capacity, it requires you to read wide. And that's what we are talking about. Don't come and write something that is uh, very small or something that is irrelevant. You understand? It's not going to help you. So apart from that, you have uh, what we call, apart from the thinking capacity, you have what we call the, uh, I call it phone manipulation. It's, this one is basically for the elderly ones. By the time you pick your phone, go through it. Stop thinking that your phone is for joke. Your phone is not for joke. Go. So your thinking capacity is something that is very key. And for manipulations, you go through your phone, you check your phone, and you, please, don't say that you don't know it. Keep checking the phone. Keep using it. The graphic design. I believe everybody is learning graphic design already. You understand? And uh, you, 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 with what you know now, with what you know now, you should be able to design a card and do what and uh, to change uh, your designs very easily. That's part of what you have learned. Now, professional skills, you will learn this in blogging, content development, content development. Video editing is another thing. Uh, voice over artists, a lot of things, how to make emojis and uh, uh, the emoticons, some of these things are things you can learn professionally, and of course, you can learn programming. Now, what are the challenges of digitalization? Are we saying that digitalization does, is all well and does not have challenges? No, it does. Digitalization has challenges, and the challenges are poor network, and that, of course, can be a problem. You see, some of you, I'm enjoying you because you are always having good network in your house. Even there are times we have challenges with network, and this is what I advise. If you are doing a business online, our network becomes poor, then you reschedule. But there are some times that you, you begin to pray. <laughs> you know the reason? I remember yesterday during the colloquium, and my birthday colloquium, the question is, how do I reset my birthday colloquium? Is it not going to be 2021? Do you understand the hair? So that's how, that's one of the problems. But if the network was completely bad, you have to apologize to the people, and you have to reschedule, you fix it again. Then security, national infrastructure. Security is another issue that is alleged. That's the infrastructure in Nigeria. You know, some places they don't even have 2G. Some places they, 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 there is no network. Can you imagine? When you have to go to your toilet, I don't know if it has happened to you before. You will go to your toilet to start. You will go to your toilet to start uh, to start uh, looking for network. You now be picking your phone from this place to that place. Hey, the reason is because of the infrastructure we have in the country, and that is a major challenge understand that another issue is internet failure that's so another issue is uh, internet failure and of course that seldom uh, happens now what are the controllable challenges the controllable challenges include well, 
power supply. If there is power failure, you use generator. Then phone limitations. Now, of course, you buy a new phone. What I want to now talk about basically or majorly is this idea about um, the, this issue of distractions. Some of you, when you get online and you want to do something, like in this class now, this is my third class today. I've been teaching since 2 p.m. and I'll teach till 10 p.m. You know, you cannot distract me with any call. You can't distract me with any WhatsApp message. You see, phone distraction. When you pick your phone, you want to search something on a uh, spot, on, on medicine, for example. You now saw it, you now saw one message on spot. You now start reading it. You start reading it and you distract yourself. It's not going to work. And this is one of the problems of WhatsApp. Some of you will sit down on WhatsApp. You'll be forwarding messages that you don't understand. You'll be downloading videos that have nothing to do with your destiny. These things should stop. Do you understand? It should stop. Then you, then how do you do it? You discipline yourself. Are you getting it? Another issue is health. And look at this. I've been sitting down from 2 p.m. Anytime I have chance, when the, when your class goes up now, you understand? By the time I'm done with your class, I will stretch myself, try to exercise. You see, if it has been in the physical world, I cannot be sitting, I will be standing. I will have ability to walk about. Do you understand? But now I'm sitting. You understand? So you have to understand that the, your exercise is important. Then your eyes, your eyes, please, don't tell me you don't have recommended glasses. Go and get the sunshade. Stop using Stop reading with your naked eyes. Your phone, the the what that's what has affected most of us. Your phone, your laptop. Get a sunshade and you use it to read. Yes, sir. Discipline ourselves using WhatsApp. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sister. Okay. Are you getting it now? So these are the things you need to understand and understand it very well. Your eyes should be protected. Then, of course, that could be data loss and what we need there is backup. Now we are going to the last aspect of this which is digital footprint. As I normally do, let me give you two minutes to read through this place and I'll get back to you. We know two minutes is much within, uh, you should be able to do that within the next one minute. Thank you, God bless. Um, the things you do online. Now, if you look at this place, let me help you widen this. I believe you saw it are you ready? Now, whenever you go online, you leave behind information about yourself. This is referred to as digital footprint. Can you imagine? It's not saying that what you type, when you go online, you leave information about yourself, and that is what we refer to as digital footprint. Can you, one thing you are, you are seeing there now is that digital footprint, actually, it does not even, it's not as if your permission is sought. Your permission is not sought, but by the time you go online, you discover that you leave information about yourself, and that is one of the things we call digital footprint. You look at this lady, as she's online and she's working, everything she's doing online, everything she's uh, pointing to, those things, is, she, she's going to have a record. She's going to leave something, and everything is about digital footprint. It is electronic. It goes beyond where you can imagine. You, let's look at this place. Whatever you do on Facebook, what you do on WhatsApp, what you do on LinkedIn, you see that. What you do on a tip mail, what you do on Pinterest, these things are all together combined to form your digital footprint. You now discover that your digital footprint is stronger than your digital presence. We have checked digital presence of Prof, of uh, Mommy Pano, and uh, of Sister Grace. We have checked and reported those ones there. Now we are going to digital footprint. Now we get to some definitions of digital footprint. The information about a particular person that exists on the internet as a result of their online activity. That's digital footprint. Are you getting what I'm saying? The information about you, about a particular person, is not what you have gone online alone to do. Even the information about you as a result of your online activity, which means that when you type on a particular site, that your, that, that's an activity. Once you tap on any site, without your knowledge, there are some information that have been collected. Please, I want you to follow me very carefully here. When you get online, when you, when you, when you want to do one or two things online, information is being collected about you without you knowing it. It is a trail of data you create while using the internet. When you are using the internet, you know, it's just like when you occupy a space. If you have a perfume on your body and you go into a particular room, you discover that that perfume 
we, 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 one way or the other, without your knowledge, if you sit on the table, take for example, and, and the particular chair, and the perfume is so strong, he will one, two, three hours after you have left, that perfume will still be smelling. It is a trail that you left behind. Are you getting it now? And that trail is what you call your digital footprint. So when you visit the website, you go to a particular site and you think you have closed that site. You know, I always explain this to people. Some people will go into the moral site, for example. By the time they are typing, they are on, a, they are on, on an immoral site and someone is coming, they will quickly cover it. They will say no. I, they, 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 then to them, they think that they have covered whatever they are doing and nobody sees it. But unknown for them, if everything they have got, every site you ever visit in your life is recorded against you. And that is something you talk about digital footprint. Digital footprint is the trail of data you create. When you are using the internet, you are already creating a data. You know, when you get to a place, even if you don't use perfume, everybody has a type of body odor. That is why. Uh, body, uh, body fragrance or whatsoever. That is why when you get somewhere, people will perceive that you have been there. The same thing happens on the internet. By the time you get online, you visit a site, you use your phone, you use your laptop to visit a site, to do one thing or the other. Everything you are doing is recorded against your name. Are you still listening to me? Are you getting something tonight? Everything you do is recorded against your name. It doesn't go away. It is always there. And that is why you need to be extra careful. That's why you need to be sure of what you are doing online. People that use their phone to write what is wrong, what is wrong. Let's look at it. A passive, a, a passive data footprint is a data train you unintentionally, Ben and brethren, unintentionally, is without your permission, is without your knowledge. When you go to a place and then you, even though you did not use anybody, anybody perfume, you didn't use any cream, the fact that you are a human being, your body will have a particular, your room has a particular uh, 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 odor. If you has a particular smell. I don't want to use the word odor because you know, definitely odor is just an English word. It's, it's not necessarily it's offensive odor. There is usual body odor for everybody. The same thing with this type of thing. So by the time you get there, the data is collected and it's added to any site you visit. So you see, you have to be careful. When some of you pick up site, you are known as a pastor, but you're always on an Islamic side. You are not as an imam, you're always known on the pastoral side. Anything you are known as, you are on an immoral side. All those sites you visit, they are there forever against your name. That is the importance of this class. That's why we talk about digitalization. The fundamentals, you must understand it. Before you go ahead, you see, when people say, ah, no, I don't know when I went into that site. If you know what is going to do against your name in the future, you are not going to try it. Now, if it's your online identity, can you imagine that? An individuality, and it's what makes you unique. Now, let me tell you something. If you go to the embassy today, nobody cares again about, uh, you, they don't interview anybody again. What they do is to get to this footprint. When you get to the embassy, they collect your name. While you are sitting there, they have checked everything about you. Everything you ever type. Now this is where WhatsApp comes in. Everything you ever type. The, this what they use to find this type footprint. It's not Google. No, Google is small. Oh. There are databases keeping every record. You know, by the time you do something, you have deleted it on your phone. It doesn't get deleted. You will get to know as you move on. Digital footprint is your ide online identity, individuality, and it's what makes you unique. That's your peculiarity. Everything about you, everything unique about you. The website you visit is not the website I visit. So my, my own website, my line of thought, my thing, the things I do, those things are my digital footprint. That's how they will identify me. That's what the embassies are doing now. They will just check you up. They have a special database. They will check everything up. They will get every information about you. And once they get the information, they will tell you visa granted or visa denied. If it is that, some of you will want to talk to testimony. Don't give, don't say yourself giving testimony. It is your digital footprint that works for you. If you are denied, don't bind any devil. Your digital footprint is, is working against you. It, it is, it builds the online reputation or impression, depending on the things you do online. Brothers and sisters, men and brethren, what do you do online? The things you do online will determine your digital footprint. So if you visit an immoral site, it goes with you. Anything you do online, that's it. That's what you need to understand. But so when you are, that's why I tell people, online is more dangerous. Digital world is dangerous than the physical world. In the, in the physical world, if you are a thief in a state, you can go to understand and become 
a pastor and begin to tell them you have changed, you have given your life. There is no life given on the, in the digital world. Once you are out as a criminal, you are a criminal for life. So you must be very careful what you do. It's now universal. It's a universal state. You understand? It's only a single platform. The comments you make on social media, the things you type, some of you, you are the very good at condemning everything the government does. There is even between positive criticism and condemnation. You know, some people have been arrested of recent. They will tell you, you type something against Buhari, you type something against that. Everything. Oh, look at the video we are having now. Oh, you think this video is going up? This video, after all of us must have died, in another 100 years, this video will still be with Zoom. They are not getting it. This that footprint is permanent. It's permanent. And that's what we are looking at. So you, you see, it, it is a part. It is part of your online history and can potentially be seen by other people. Can you imagine? Or charged in a database. Now let's look at digital footprint. Your profile on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on LinkedIn and other mediums. All these things make up digital footprint. What are your profiles? The things you have there. What you write about yourself. You have to be careful. Do you understand? That's why I told you earlier, don't lie so that you can last. Because people will check you up. They will make fun of you and anybody can be arrested. You remember this young man? There, there is one guy, um, daddy, they call daddy free. Someone abused his daughter or his son, and uh, yes, someone abused his son online through Facebook. He got the person arrested. Oh, it's a serious issue. You can't even clean it. You can't say, I didn't say so. If you say something and you're arrested, you can't deny what you have said. They will not start cross examining you. You can't deny what you have typed. You can't deny what you have said. Can you take that? I wish you can help me to write it down that you can deny what you have said, but you can't deny what you have typed. You understand? Typing is not deniable. Say it and be denied. So you have to be careful. Photographs of you that you or any any other person are posted online. Any photograph you post, anything, be careful how you post photographs. Be careful. You see, I always make this reference in class also. You remember this woman, Salah Abeni, that was saying someone was threatening her, of exposing her, of uh, releasing her new thing. You ask yourself, how, what, 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 we are, as an elderly woman, a woman that is about 60 years plus, what brought you to having your nude picture? You have name, you have money, that someone will not be threatening you. It doesn't go out. She now says she has posted it herself. I now laughed. When she said she posted it, they tried to get the person arrested. What she posted is there for life. Her great grandchildren will see her. She now posted her nude picture, stupidity in the highest order. You don't understand what we are talking about. As a lawyer, if she has spoken to a lawyer, that's what I want to plead with you. Some of us, that's why one of the things I'm doing in law, I'm majoring in intellectual property. I'm majoring in ICT law. And uh, it's good we have uh, some professors here. If my vision and dream is to create that department and unit in Nigeria educational system, ICT law, because it doesn't exist. That place as a unit on its own. What the woman should have done is to contact her lawyers. They would have withdrawn that. But she has gone to post it online. She has destroyed everything. No, what the arrest? The arrest is belated. Anything you have written or that has been written about you, anything you write, anything, you, you are good. Look, if the president offends you, it's better you say to your family members, stop going online to write against Nigeria. He's going to work against you. Please get it very clear. Stop going online to write against people that you will not need to explain. Stop doing it. It will work against you. If anybody, anything you have written or that has been written about you, for instance, on discussion boards, on forums, blogs, or in articles, anything, it's not going away. It forms a digital footprint. Those are the things that brings your peculiarity. Are you getting what I'm talking about tonight? Those are the things that gives us the specialty about you, the peculiarity about you. You need to understand it, and you have to be very careful of what you print. Let's look at the presence of digital footprint. It is important to be aware of it. You know the reason? Anything posted online is permanent. Can you type that on my behalf? Just type it, let me read. Anything posted online is permanent. Type it with your hands. I want to see everybody. We are about, how many are we in the class now? Um, we are about 18, 17. In the class, I want to read the 18. I want to be sure everybody is getting me. Anything posted is permanent. Anything posted online is permanent. If you guys can just write permanent, just I just want to, you to get that ideology. It's permanent and stays there forever, regardless of being deleted. 
I've not read from anybody yet. Anything, yes, thank you so much. Just, just keep writing it. Anything posted online, thank you, sir, DJ. Anything posted online is permanent, permanent, permanent. Joshua, God bless you for that. Permanent, yes, permanent, permanent is permanent. I want to read it. Anything posted, Lydia, thank you so much. It's permanent. You have to understand this ideology. Anything you post online is permanent. Anything posted, let me thank you so much. It's permanent. It's permanent. You get it at the back of the mind that it's not going away. Even if you try to delete, even if you think you have deleted, some people say I've deleted it. I've changed my phone. No, it's permanent. You can't delete it. You can't change your phone. The deleting is on your side. You only deleted it from your own side. Eh? You, that's, that's the only thing you did. It has been deleted from your side. It cannot be deleted from the database. It is permanent where we did. It is kept there for life. And look at it. Regardless of being deleted, why don't you be careful? Why are you going to post anything? When, the, when you get, I know it must you post. Some of you will get online on your group. You will start abusing someone who is, who is old enough to be your father. You don't even know. None of you will be, you are elderly people. You'll be arguing with someone who is not even up to your last born at all. This is online. I tell people, when you are in a group and you are getting furious, and you are always in this talk, you are in a group and you are unhappy, what are you still doing in that group? Don't stay where you are tolerated. Why don't you go to where you are celebrated? There's a place they want to celebrate you. You understand? When you have a group and you say something and nobody is responding, so you are already creating a new sense. Why don't you exit yourself? What do you gain? The reason why people like us are in a lot of groups is because we want to sell our business and go to stay, and there is no group of people that have not gotten one or two people to come and register. You understand? I'm not going to be in a group and create a new sense there. If I'm not gaining, then what am I doing there? Some of you don't know that you don't lose only when you have negative. Even zero is a loss when you can be having 20. You are not getting what I'm saying. If you have negative, say I've missed 20. But if you should be having 20 and you're having zero, you are still missing 20. Are you getting it now? So the fact that it is zero does not mean you are not losing. You understand? It's only shows that you are not gaining. And when you are not gaining, you are losing. So a digital put is often used for papers and information about you. I told you about the issue of embassy. That's where they get the information. Your digital footprint, what you type, what you say. You have spoken a lot about the country and you want to go to that country. Be very careful. So as demographics, religion. You have to be careful when you begin to argue political affiliations or interests. Information could be gathered using cookies. There are some things we call cookies in the computer world. As you type, those cookies, they, you will register them. They will collect your phone number, your, the type of phone you use, your location, your name, your email, everything about you without telling you. And you wonder, LinkedIn, everybody, they link together. That's why we call them LinkedIn. They link with Facebook, link with Google, link with everything. That's how they, that is why we, we, we are able to get you. That's why we are able to bring you together. That's why we are making it because everything is built as a unit. Information could be gathered using cookies, which are small five websites on your computer after your first visit to track every activity of yours. Anything posted online is permanent. Now let's move on. The, the, the next thing, how do you develop a strong digital footprint? Well, one thing you do is you're posting on Facebook. You have to watch it. You understand? You post, you see, when you post on Facebook, it's one of the ways you can build yourself in having a good digital footprint. And what do you do when you are posting on Facebook? Post what is right. Post what is right. That is all. Stop posting your family pictures. I've warned about this. You're posting on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and other social media platforms. Filling out online forms, such as when signing to receive email. You have to be careful. Some of you will visit dating sites. They will ask for your details. You will start giving them your name, your details on the dating site. Can you think it's over? It's not over. It is already marked against you. You have to be very, very careful. Now, except you want to marry an online wife. And of course, you have to get ready for online wedding and online life. And you know how that means. When the online problem begins to ensue, I don't know how you will get the online solution. Agree to install cookies on your devices when prompted by your browser. These are things you have to be careful of. Browser will ask you, do you want to install cookies? You say yes, they collect all the information about you. This is a friendship. You see, you should be careful the people, you, some of you will accept uh, offers online. Some of you say, I want to be your friend, you will agree. You know the person. Don't accept the offer of someone you don't know the character. Simple. Let me tell you one thing. Wow, thank you so much. 
Yeah, let me tell you one thing. If a thief is following you, you are not their fault. If you follow a thief, you are in trouble. You see, when a thief follows you, you know you don't know. But when you follow people, they are following them, you follow him. Do you know you are following? There should be a reason why you are following them. That's the reason why you are subscribing. Digital friendship, you should be very careful. Show me your friend and I will show you who you are. You know, let me know the site you always go to. Let me know where you spend your time and I'll tell you what your digital footprint looks like. Now, what are the features of digital footprint? Publishing of blog or, and posting social media updates are, are another part, popular ways to extend your digital footprint. This is why blogging is important to give you a strong and positive Excuse me, digital footprint, positive digital footprint, positive digital footprint. You need it. Every tweet you post on Twitter, every status update, every status update you give on Facebook, all these things contribute to your digital footprint. When you are giving status update, it contributes to your digital footprint. Everything you do on Twitter contributes to your digital footprint. It doesn't stop there. Every photo you share on Instagram contributes to your digital footprint. The more you spend time on social networking websites, all these things will contribute to your digital footprint. Now, it doesn't stop there. Can we move on and get more information? You discover that features of digital footprint, think before you post. This is a popular thing I always tell people to type, and I think your class will not be an exception. Let me quickly have you type this. Think before you post. You have to think before you post. Don't just post. Think before you post. Let that be your thought, your thought, your thought. Let your brain come before your hand. Think before you post. I want to read that from you. Think before you post. It's something that you need to be conscious of. Don't just start typing anything. You have to think before you post. Yes, people are posting. Let me read from you. Think before you post because by the time you get it, think before you post. It's very important. It's very charming. You have to think before you now start posting. Some people will just go online. They start posting. Say, I'm annoyed. If you're annoyed, go back and sleep. If you don't come to WhatsApp to begin to vent your anger, you will cause, you will give yourself more problems. You will cause yourself more problems that you are going to create. Think before you post. Professor Bonaji, thank you so much. Uh, Madam Patricia, thank you. Olaide, thank you so much. Think before you post. Kami, I appreciate you. You have to understand exactly that. Joseph, thank you. DJ, thank you, sir. You understand? You must think before you post. You don't just go and you start posting. Very further, thank you. You think, you think, you think, you think before you write anything. That is how to make it online. By the time you get online and you are not thinking, by the time you get online and you are not even following what you should follow, you are just posting. You are just posting. That's not going to get you to where you are going. You think. Your brain, your brain, your brain. You place your brain before your pen. Your brain before your viral. You think before you post. You know the reason? Every picture still lives. Every post never dies. Every picture still lives. Every post never dies. Every post you ever send. Everything you ever posted is going to be there for life. Every picture will leave. Every post will not die. This is called your digital footprint. Is it not shocking? Is it not scary that everything you have ever posted 10 years ago is still well and alive? Active. Everything you will ever post will still be active on the you have gone. That's the truth. You think before you post. Everything you ever put on the internet with your name on it makes up your digital footprint. It's not going away. Your digital footprint and everything in it, it stays with you and stays with you forever. So how do we get rid of our digital footprint? Where you want to hear the truth? You cannot. But you can keep it clear. You cannot get rid of it. It's your digital footprint. You can't get rid of your body odor. If you don't bath, people will know because you will smell. You understand? So you just have to get yourself clean. That's the only solution. That you won't have body odor. You are joking. But the only thing is that you can control the way you smell. If you don't, if you, even if you take your bath, there still be a way you smell. But to smell nice, you perfume yourself. But to smell nice, you keep yourself clean. Then you have to have some, uh, some some sense to your body. And that's what you need to do. When you blog, you are performing your digital proofing. When you write blog, you write words, the better that you are writing. So this is where its peculiarity is. But if all you do, some people will go online, they will say, I've deleted this. The only thing you do is to go online to write against. To write against the government. To write against this person. You write against that person. 
everything you ever type stays with you. So I guess you will not learn how to use your WhatsApp. You will not learn how to use your phone. That's why I tell people, don't miss this class because you cannot use There is no way. You can't afford to miss the class. How are you going to miss it? It's too important for you to miss. You understand? So that's what we are talking about. So you cannot. You just have to keep it clean. And that's what this stuff will pray. Now what do you do? You make sure that you think before you post. He's saying it there again. Think before you post. Build the positive reputation online. Work on your reputation. Make sure it's positive. We are not stopping there. We are this type of print. What do you do? Your personality, your professionalism, and your potential. These are the things you use to build your digital footprint. Make sure your personality. How do you do it? What, what you write about your person? You must introduce yourself. Those who are in the blogging class, you remember what I taught you? I explained to you, go and bring me your profile. What we are going to read about you, your personality, your presence. Are you getting it now? And your professional, educational life, your professionality. What's your professionalism? Where are you specialized? You are an educationist, you are an academician, you are an agriculturist, you are a teacher, you understand? You are a nurse, you are a lawyer, you are a medical doctor. Where do you belong? That's what we are looking at our professionalism. Apart from that, then we look at your potential. Yes, can you go back to the previous page, sir? Yes, I can, I can. You mean this one? Okay, if you want this, I said enter your name, first digital footprint. Is it what you are talking about, sir? Am I, am I right? Is this what you are talking about? I'm trying to control the time because I don't want to keep you here unnecessarily. By 8.30, everybody should be out of this place. So enter your name, okay? Let me see your response to be sure. Okay, can you go back to okay. Yes, okay, good. Now, this is it. I'm gonna give this slide to you, don't worry. Think before you post, build a possible rep reputation. Make sure you are private on social media. You know, some people, everything about their life is on the social media. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. It's, let me explain this again. Well, some, some of you, you are even committing crime and illegality against some children. Before the children are even, before the nurses be clean the blood on their body, you have snapped them and started posting everywhere. If we all did this to us in this country. It won't be that it's no, I don't know, I want to be, I, I want to control myself. Be private for crying out loud. My wife has given birth. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's not until when you snap that baby. Eh? Okay, let me ask you a question. When, so when your wife gives back, before the, the digitalization came up, do you normally carry the baby to everywhere or you just tell them? Why must you snap the baby and spread? Do we even take an innocent child that knows nothing? Fresh, fresh. You will straight to Facebook. Be private for crying out loud. Be private. Be private for crying out loud. Be private about your life. You just bought a new car. The next place is Facebook. Is something wrong with you or you are wrong with something? That's the question you ask yourself. You know, these are things that you buy the new car is not growing you. It's not. Nobody is interested in that. Nobody is going to give you a contract because you bought a new car. So the, the, the social media is for selling. It's a marketing tool. You are going to use it to sell yourself, to promote yourself. It's not that you bought a car, you get online, you place it there. You, you should be careful. You should be careful. So are you getting the idea now? Where did I stop? I think we are just little short. We had a short, uh, a short issue with network there. OK? Send me a no audio, yes, for the it's not five minutes. Uh, Daddy DJ, yes, that we had little issue with network in about two minutes. Now, take before, okay. I was talking about being private on social media. You have to be private, you have to be private. You cannot be exposing your life, expose your family, bring up everybody. It's a waste of time. Eh? A small baby, fresh baby, just coming in from the womb, you put it there. It's the problem. Look at Funky Akidele, Funky Akidele today is an ex convict in Nigeria. What brought her to that level? You have celebrated birthday, you are wrong. Why upload it to social media? Why? That's the question. Who are you impressing? Now that got into a problem. That's it. Some of you didn't get it. You are saying that, like, mm, why did you even upload to social media? If she has done what she did and nobody knew, who, who is the person? Think before you post. Who, okay, who did you put that thing up for? Is it for the person who attended or who didn't attend? These are the questions. 
That's the question. By the time you now became a, you now became a national shame, you now went around, you are now going to court on top what? Because you can't control your hand, get private. Get private. It's not everything that you go online to display. Some of you, if you are giving chance, you even display your bank account online. I have, I have 10 million in my account. Celebrate with me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, we will do it. You will do it. So that is the issue. You understand? So let's move on. But it, uh, I'm trying to, I'm being fast because of time. So I now checked among, do I have my educationist here? Uh, I, oh, wow. I don't have my educationist in the house. Again, they have left one with the other. But it's good, Sister Funke. You will tell Madam when you and the uh, sister came to, I think you will tell her. Um, uh, now, when I check education, this is what I'm saying. You know, I've checked some people. When I said developing education among students, I wrote it intentionally. These are educationists. They have been writing on this. They've been speaking on this for the Google, but the internet does not know. The internet did not bring their name at all. That's digital footprint. Digital footprint will not talk about your name. It will talk about your area. When we type your area, the, a particular area, you are a marriage counselor. When we type about fundamentals of marriage, having a successful home, living a successful marital life, will it bring your name? If you are not blogging, it won't bring your name. That's what I If you are not blogging, it won't bring your name. So that's something. Now look at what it's bringing. It's not recognizing any of our educationists in the house. And the same thing, it's applicable to you. You understand? Any area you belong, ask yourself, will it be applicable? Now, let me show you something about it. Now, this is what I did about myself when I checked about mentality and reality. You know, I told you this is an area. If you pick your phone now and you type mentality versus reality, two weeks ago or three weeks ago now, when I prepared, when I checked, I discovered that it's bringing my picture here. This is one, two, three, four, five. As number five. This is my picture, number five, not in here. When I checked off recent, just last week, you understand? You see it. This is what is bringing up in my picture. It's bringing me as number two. When I checked it this week, it's bringing me as number one. Do you, do you know what that means? That is telling you my impact in this stage. That is that footprint. I didn't type my name. Mentality versus reality. You can type it on your phone anytime after this class. It's bringing my go to images, it's bringing my pictures. So, to Google internationally, universally, when you talk about mentality and reality, these are the people in control. You can see my picture coming up three different times within that spray. And that's what I'm working on. In my area, which I'm trying to work on further, in the area of digitalization, it's bringing my picture, but around number 16 or number 20. I've not written enough in that area. I will write more. It's about writing. You understand? So you have to understand these principles and you have to build it. Now, by the time you do it, now let me give you this. Take over. Let everybody just write it. You, I'm taking over my name. You have to take over. This is my name. Take over. When you type your name, it should be your picture or something. That's taking over. Digital footprint. You take over. Take over that name, compulsory, take over, complete it, take over, take over, take over, take over. Nothing should, nobody should be able to, nobody should be questioning you on your name. Your name area, I plead with you, take over completely. Let be in charge, be the one in charge, take over. Yes, someone is typing something there. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Take over. Yeah, I, want, I expect everybody to say it. I'm taking over my name. I've taken over my name. It's a determination. Take over. Take over. I don't know. I didn't write anything about uh, Pastor Adeboy, so I don't know why his picture is there. Maybe because my, I don't know. You understand? But I'm taking over. I'm everything. When all the pages, when they mention my name, I am taking over. Take over, Prof. I thank you for that. Take over. So you have a total takeover of your name. Take, total takeover. Don't allow anybody to hold your name down. Now, apart from that, what's the next thing that we're looking at? Yes, thank you so much. I have taken over my name completely. Yes, that's it. That's, and you have to walk. How do you walk towards it? Now, let me tell you the impact of taking over your name. 
One of the impact is what I want to show you now, digital immortality. You are going to live forever. You are going to live forever, forget it. After, look at it, digital immortality. If you type it, you will get them there. This Martin Luther King, he died that many years back, he's still well, very much alive. You understand? This is Bimbo Dukoya. You know when this woman left, that's Mandela. Digital immortality. You will see this. This is, uh, that, that's a, a, a poem, that's a whole lower. You understand? That's a, I'm the Azikwe, rather. You understand? This is Shagali, of course you know. These people, they are there. They are there. You understand? This is scary. They are there. By the time you are gone, your, your grandchildren, great grandchildren, they want to see you. You are going to live. You are going to be continuously there. And that's digital immortality. That's why it's your blog that will now tell your story. Do you understand? Your blog will tell your story because nobody takes over what you have written. Do you understand? Take it over completely. That's why it, will, it must be relevant. You have to take over. You have to consciously, knowingly take over that which is your name. And that is it. You understand? After you have taken over, then of course, areas of your digital footprint, your digital name, your digital profession, we have to create it. How do you create it? Blog idea, advise you, digital investment is a sacrifice. Find a way to develop a blog with 50,000 you win. The elderly people amongst us, you need a blog. You can't dodge it. DJ, you need a blog. You need a blog. Prof, you need a blog. You see, we need these things. You need a blog. You have a business with 80K, you have it all. You need a, uh, that website. Then, of course, the younger ones, you are okay with your social media. You understand? But as I will always advise, make sure you get involved. You see, after all this, having these things uh, that you register for, the another thing is get involved in the training. That's digital growth. I've told you about digital investment and sacrifice. Then I'm telling you about digital growth. You understand? This one is no more fit. This one is now Wednesday. This one is Wednesday. I don't know which day that Wednesday is. Wednesday, uh, June. Let me quickly check it in the calendar. Uh, that's Wednesday, Monday, 8th, 9th, Tuesday. Wednesday, 10th. Wednesday, 10th. Wednesday, 10th, June. By no, no, no. This one is this one is the Wednesday, 10th. You understand? Wednesday, 10th, June by 8 p.m. You understand? That's the class that concerns you. Join this class, blogging class. You need to, you don't have a choice but to get involved. You, it, it's your best bet. Since you have gotten through, uh, since you have, got, I mean, you have gone through this, your best bet is to get involved. The next, the, the next blogging class is Wednesday, 10th June by 8 p.m. We consider 8 p.m. After this class, I'm going to take the ones that are rounding up. The next set that is starting is what is starting Wednesday. Do you understand? So those are the things you need to understand. I believe you have learned one or two things in this class. I believe you don't have any regrets registering for uh, your fundamentals of digitalization. Thank you so much and God bless you.